Hello everyone, my name is Otavio and today I'm going to talk about how easy it is to integrate and consume external JavaScript with Alt Systems. First of all, let's take a look on what you're going to accomplish today. Okay, so it's going to be a very simple video player, so it's based on HLS technology, so you can run videos based on video URL, okay? Uh, first of all, it's based on this GitHub project, okay? So that you guys know, and it's already available on Forge, so there is a, already a component for that, you can try by clicking on try now button or download it to your infrastructure for your PE and customize it if you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the service studio and start a new application from scratch. Okay. Okay, so we are going to have two modules. The first one is serve as a library for the second one, which is going to be the demo where we can see the video itself. So let's go ahead and create the library first. Okay, so here we are going to add a new block and this new block is going to be very simple. It's just going to have one HTML element, which is going to be a video tag. And we are going to call it Um, we, we, we will also add some parameters to this block so that, for instance, we can provide the video URL and we can provide the size that this, video, this player will be shown in the screen. Let's add a default value here. Okay, so we are good to go. Let's add an event on ready. I want to First of all, require a script. And if for any reason, uh, this action, this client action is not available for you as it's not for me, you can just add this from system. Yeah, the URL for the require script and that's it. So now we are going to run a JavaScript based on that. Okay. This JavaScript is gonna have one parameter which will be the video, the video URL. Also, let's add another parameter, which is the video element in the screen. Okay, so the text will look like this. 
Okay, so here we have it. Let me just adjust the parameter name. And now we need to press the parameters. Yep, and we are good to go from the library module. So now let's go ahead and implement the module that will reference this library. Okay, so let's create a new screen. And add the reference to the library module we just created. Here we have it, so let's add the, the video size and also the video URL. And let's check on how it goes. We can also add some controls on the on the video player. Okay, we can do that in our video element by adding some properties here. So first is gonna be our parameter. And the second is going to be the controls itself. So we want to show the controls. Let's check it out. Yeah, so the video starts automatically with the sound disabled, but these are all configurations you can control. And that's it. That's what we have for today. Thank you for watching.